What it do, KTTV? This is KT, and I'm coming at you live with another episode of the Daily K Podcast. And on today's episode, we have Miss Jane Taylor, owner and director of the Bot Shop and Take It Out Makerspace. Today, Jane is going to talk to the KTTV audience on how she's removing the barriers to STEM by addressing accessibility and diversity, what programs are offered at the Take It Out Makerspace besides robotics, and what sets the Bot Shop apart from all other makerspaces here in the city of Houston. Stay tuned. All right, so this is this kind of shows you the progression mm -hmm. of um, education or robotics pretty much from kinder through eighth grade. So um, we use uh, the Lego we do is a Lego based robot. So you can see that these are just all Legos and you have this um, brain here, this hub, and it is Bluetooth. Um, it can extend Bluetooth so you can code these using a tablet mm. and using visual coding so it's sort of a drag or drop and as you, you stated I'm Jane Taylor mm -hmm. and I'm the owner of the bot shop mm -hmm. I have been in educational robotics for 19 years wow. almost 20 years okay. um, I started off as an educator in Houston Independent School District as a science teacher and um, taught, started teaching robotics in like 2001 um, I was able to create one of the uh, earlier versions of a robotics curriculum for a school district mm -hmm. and uh, align it so that students were able to get credit for doing robotics as early as 2004. After attending Carnegie Mellon Robotics Academy, Jane left the classroom and started Bot Shop Robotics. She wanted to address the need for diversity and accessibility of STEM programs and curriculum. And we definitely, from the beginning, has always been my strategy mm -hmm. to make it affordable because that is the thing that has been the diff you know, sort of the the gate or the barrier mm -hmm. is cost. Yes. So if I can move that barrier mm -hmm. out, it's like a floodgate that lets everyone in. Um, yeah. Robotics camps cost five, six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You can, in the summertime, you can have a camp here for under two hundred dollars yeah. for a week. That includes food. Although Jane is known for her work with robots, she has a passion for NASA and has created programs for her makerspace that range from aerospace to energy. So we do rocketry here. So we teach kids. We do. Um, air compressed rockets, air bottle rockets, fuel rockets, all the rockets. Yeah. They get to build these rockets, launch the rockets, test the rockets, redesign those rockets, mm -hmm. and then afterwards they get to take those rockets home. Those are their okay. rockets. We also make uh, renewable uh, energy vehicles. Mm -hmm. So we make um, uh, solar cars, wind turbines. Okay. Uh, hydrogen fuel cell cars and uh, any devices that are powered by any of those mm -hmm. things. So we look at so uh, solar, water, yeah. and wind. Um, and then our other project, actually I have some back here, is drones. We do mm -hmm. drone technology. Um, so I actually serve as the consultant for um, a, a drone challenge, a middle mm -hmm. school drone challenge. So I design a course mm -hmm. and train the teachers and get the kids all excited about it. When students join bot shop camps, not only does Jane support the student for that specific camp, she gives the child access to a community that is accessible from kinder to 12th grade and beyond. Um, so once they've gone through the Lego series, so like I said, this is uh, kinder through fourth and these are fourth through eighth grade. Then they move up to a metal based robot. So it's not just sending them mm -hmm. to a a robotics or STEM camp, it's mm -hmm. sending them to something that is linked to an actual yes. pipeline for learning. Mm -hmm. Because any kid that attends our camps, whether it's for robotics, whether it's for aerospace, mm -hmm. whether it's for drone, there is another space that I can connect them to. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I build pipelines, yeah. so not programs. Mm -hmm. um, so if they start with junior with me, I, there is four other programs I'm going to put them in before mm -hmm. they graduate from high school. Okay. And whereas you can go and find other places to take the mm -hmm. kids, you can take them yeah. places. But the question is, what happens when the summer is over? Mm -hmm. it, you know, what happens when the semester is over? When that, when that, what you paid for is over, what happens with your child? Can they keep going down this pipeline? Mm -hmm. Or is it like unconnected Logical. what i try to tell parents is that i'm not selling a summer program mm -hmm. i'm trying to create a community that your kid can grow in yes that's what makes us different from a lot of these mm -hmm. uh the other sort of maker spaces wow. jane not only makes stem accessible for students but for teachers as well she provides affordable trainings that raise content knowledge and give hands-on experiences educators let me tell you 
I call education robotics job security. Mm-hmm. It's one of the youngest job titles you can hold. Like, that's a new position that is showing up on campuses. Um, so to be proficient in it not only gives you a great pathway to leadership yourself, mm-hmm. because there's so many districts who are looking for STEM leaders, not mm-hmm. just people to teach the courses, but people who can lead the mm-hmm. efforts in the district. And that position is usually, unfortunately, filled by people who don't have the proper experiences. Mm -hmm. So if you can get yourself trained and have a documented uh, way to prove that you're proficient, Mm -hmm. like you're laying a foundation. I can be found, obviously, on our website, which is bot, B-O-T, S-H-O-P, R-O-C-K-S dot com, botchoprocks dot com. All of our courses, just click on register now uh, to find our locations and our courses for kids and for adults. Mm-hmm. I am a um, Google Next Gen Fellow, so I get to do some pretty cool things uh, across the nation. So if you want to see some fun, innovative spaces that I find myself in, then follow me on my Instagram, which is Jane to fly. The makerspaces on um, Instagram as Tech It Out Makers underscore Houston. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm Jane Taylor on Facebook. Yes, yes. We'd like to thank Ms. Jane for stopping by and talking to the KTTV audience today. If you'd like to hear more about why she started the buy shop or what STEM means to her in her words, go to KTTV.com for the full interview. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment to let me know your favorite part of this video. This is KT for KTTV signing out, 100.